Goat him here. Welcome, uh, welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. I'm laughing a little bit because uh, I actually just started over. I've been playing for about 30 minutes. And uh, I was talking to Teresa out here, who's the, uh, the, the lady who found us and saved us. And I started her DLC. See, here you go. I started her DLC and I did not want to do that. I want to save that for later. So I'm restarting. So, but I do know, luckily, that twenty, that thirty minutes that I, we're gonna take all. But I think there's a couple things we want to put back. Uh, luckily, that thirty minutes, I didn't. I did not accomplish anything. I'm looking for a shovel. So uh, there's no weapons in my there we go we are going to keep all that put the ring back and everything else we're going to keep I believe that's how this works yes food we're going to put back three others I think just for, well, I wonder if we should keep this stuff. Yeah, we'll keep it because it does not, doesn't weigh anything. It doesn't hurt. All right, now we need to, I want to know, how did I learn language and literature? All right, now we're going to equip, uh, put our, equip ourselves. First, we're going to start with these. I know there's a better coif down the down the road. The rest of these I'm, I do not 100% remember. Noble shoes, old boots. It was the noble shoes. And I think that's what we looked like. So I think we're all set there. We do need to eat, and I cannot eat out of this pot. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I still don't understand why I cannot. So, all right. So let's get some food real quick. We'll eat some cabbage. We get our nourishing going up. Oh, I ate too much. We will talk to the miller after we cleaned up. And then we have to look for the shovel. There it is. Uh, dog, it's all right. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door, while you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter, who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions. That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else and not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right. But somewhere else, 
I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. I was prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on, tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate, Wojcik, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet, along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ. You want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it, and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. It's still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? I think I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Watch your mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. Farewell. That guy is... Seems pretty, pretty shady. Alright, see, we need to get a spade, but let's talk to Teresa first. And not... Have you eaten yet? Start the DLC. I didn't eat anything that you gave me, though, because that you did, because... Yes, it was very I good. I eat out of the pot. You make it yourself. I did. I'm glad you enjoyed it. But she did have other stuff to talk about, so let's see. Look at you, lover boy. All right, so pro tip, if you play this in the future, um, do not select this one uh, with, that, with that icon next to it. That is the DLC. I'm hoping the rest of these do not. I want to talk about scale. Yeah, the rest of these cannot. It just has to be that one. So do not select that unless you really want us to do that. What's that dog you have here? He looks familiar. Don't you remember him? It's Mart, the butcher's dog from Scalitz. Ah, of course. When I went back to bury my parents, he was guarding his master's dead body. A faithful dog. How come he's here? When we carted you here, we took Mart along too. He's been hanging around the mill ever since. Mm, a lot of questions just about the dog. How's you doing? A lot better now. I slipped him something good now and again when Uncle wasn't looking. He won't starve to death then. What does the miller have to say about it? He can't stand him. How's that? Every time he sees him, he starts shouting that he's a useless mouth to feed and that'll skin him. Jesus. And it didn't even soften his heart when Mutt brought a hare from the woods. He was happy to eat it, but it didn't change his mind. I could have a word with him. Mm, that would be a waste of time. Does he obey you? Me? <laughs> not much. He's got a mind of his own, and I'm just not strict enough. Ah, spoiled then. No, he just hasn't learned many commands. But he's well able to beg for a piece of meat. How long has he been with you? More or less since we came here. He runs off now and again, but he always comes back. Sometimes I don't see him all day. I think he likes to go wandering. So he's doing quite well then? Yeah. I'd keep him, but... He reminds me too much of Tinker, you know? I don't want to think about Scalit. So... I thought maybe you might take him with you? Me? What? I'm sure the two of you would get on great. He's a handsome fella and lovable. I'd be very happy if you had him. But we never had a dog at the smithy. We never needed one. Come on. He's got no one.
does this mean he'll follow us or does he stay here and then if we get a place someplace else then we can have him at the place well we definitely have to take him right yeah uh, all right I'll take him he can keep me company on my travels thanks Henry go and get him then He's sniffing around somewhere here. I mean, is he literally gonna just follow us around everywhere? Hey, Mutt. Remember me? From Scalix, remember? You wanna go with me? Come on then, we'll get on like a house on fire. Follow me. From this moment on, you have a canine companion. He's your best friend who will protect and help you, but you must take good care of him. You can talk to him and feed him, ideally with meat, give him commands, and reward him with praise. With the curse, you can give him all sorts of commands using triangle heal. Example heal. You also have the new skill of Houndmaster. It determines how well your dog is trained and what commands you've taught him. You gain experience by using the commands and other interactions with your four-legged friend. In the Sidekicks tab, you can see the stats, the most important of which is obedience. It tells you whether your dog obeys you or not. Its level will keep uh, falling with every injury and also if you neglect your dog for a long time. If obedience falls too low, your dog will stop heeding some of your commands. If it falls to zero, your dog will run off and it will take some time before it comes back to you. During that time, you won't be able to give him any commands. The higher his obedience, the better stats the dog has. He will defend himself and you better because greater damage to foes cause greater damage to foes and it will take longer before he decides to run off again. You can improve your dog's obedience mainly by feeding and praising him, but doing it several times in succession over a short period is less effective than feeding and praising him regularly. Oh, I'm gonna get this dog killed, I know it. Uh, that's gonna make that's gonna make me sad. So oh look at oh. Can I feed him now? Food, praise, stay. Oh, let's see what other commands. Heal free. Not sure what free means. Yeah, let's give him some Look food. what I've got for you. You'll love this. Oh. I already lied to him. Already lied to him. Good boy. That's my boy. I guess maybe we'll, uh, let's talk to her again. Well, but first, before we do that, let's look at the companion. This, oh, sidekicks. Dog. Uh, sense of smell, 15. Sniff out enemies even when they're out of sight. Take good care of your dog and our experience in handling it. It will identify foes at a greater distance. All right. Obedience uh, affects his behavior. If it's low, he won't always heed your commands. You Maybe run off if it's high. Okay, we already read about that. Presently carrying out his long-term command. Current free. Again, I'm not sure what the free stands for. I guess we're going to find out. <coughs> All right, let's talk to Teresa. Uh, would you fancy a little walk? What are you up to? How would you like to, um, I don't know, uh, come for a walk? A walk? I'd like that very much, but I can't right now, Hal. Give me some time to settle in, will you? If that's what you want. It's not you, Hal. It's just this isn't a good time. I'd like to know. I'd like to know. So, how do you like it in Rattai? 
It's a big town with good strong walls, so I suppose we're safe here. And they took us in in our hour of need, but for how much longer? They'll grow tired of us soon enough. How are the Scallets folk getting on? They're alive. That's the main thing. They have shelter, but they're just scraping by. Rattay's citizens aren't happy the town is full of beggars who don't look like leaving any time soon. Do you know anything about those human rapists? About... You know. They came to Hungary from God knows where, and now they... Well, folk tell awful stories about them. I hope I never see them again. That's all. Have you got a moment? I'd like to ask a few questions about scallops. I don't remember much. All right. What do you want to know? Wow, there's a lot here. How did you get me away from scallops? It wasn't easy. Sir Robard and his men helped load you on a wagon and we harnessed an old nag the bandits had left behind. The soldiers escorted us all the way here. God bless them. What about the bandits? Sir Robard and his men routed them. They killed the few, but the giant who attacked you fled, and Zibishek with him. They won't be safe in Scalitz for a while yet. Why would Zibishek do that? I never thought much of him, but banditry? He was always a nasty piece of work. It doesn't surprise me he joined them. If you knew what he did to me... Oh, tell me. When those... humans, they call them... When the Cumans came, Zibishek pushed me out in front of them and fled. He sacrificed me to save his own hide. That bastard. Oh, we gotta find that guy. Where's the sword I had? You had a sword? It's gone now. Those scum took everything, including your horse. I don't give a damn about the horse. I stole it anyway. But my father forged that sword for Sir Radzik. I promised father I'd take it to him. I have to get it back. Well, you can't. Just be thankful you're still alive. What happened to the other survivors from Scalitz? They sought refuge in Rattay. And some of the Rattay folk are none too happy about it. And Matthew, Fritz and Matthias? Johanka? Did they make it? They're alive. I heard Matthias is at the stud farm in Merhoyed. Johanka is in Sasau and... Fritz and Matthew, well, you know them. They're up to no good somewhere. The only trouble they'll be in is of their own making. What about Sir Radzig? Sir Hanish, he's the Lord of Rattay. He gave his lower castle to Sir Radzig, a place called Perkstein. Sir Hanish lives at the upper castle. The Scarlet's folk have made camp in front of it. How did you get away from those Cumans? I thought I was finished, but I grabbed a dagger from one of them and... Wait. Reputation lost. How do you know what happened to me? Oh. Oh. Because we saw her. When we got on the horse, we saw her. Uh, I don't know how I want to answer this. I don't. That's why I asked how you fled from Scalitz. No. You said with those humans. Did you see what happened? Were you there? I... I fled from the castle. I saw what was happening to you, but there were too many of them, and I... I didn't know what to do. I knew I couldn't fight them all. I'm, I'm so sorry. I understand. You made the sensible choice. No, but I, I wanted to... You don't need to say any more. Besides, I managed well enough on my own. I cut their throats. I'm sorry. I'm sure you are. I won't trouble you anymore. Let's leave it be. Well, now, don't we feel bad? All right, let's look at our quest log. Uh, vengeance. 
finding the guy who took the sword. So that's that's the main overarching um, main line there. Awakening. Go to Perkstein Castle to see Sir Radzig and tell him what happened. The good thief. Uh, while I was unconscious, my debt to the apothecary increased. So you find out from him what's what. Peshek paid the apothecary 50 groschen to treat me while I was unconscious. He wants me to pay the debt off by doing him a service. Peshek wants me to get him a ring from an executed man who's buried under the gibber. Gibber? Gibbet? It's either that, that or you pay him back in coin. I'm going to need a spade to dig up the ring from the grave. So I still need that sp I still... I still need that spade. All right, looking on the map. So remember, I'm playing on the hard mode, so you cannot see yourself on the map. But uh, what am I doing? Uh, well, this is. Uh, can I not see this full screen, full picture? Well, we need to find it. we need to find this shovel first. Blends in so well, man. So well. All right, doggo. Is, is doggy gonna follow us? Yeah. All right. So where are we? He where are we going? We are heading. What is that? New DLC quest. New DLC quest. So this must be because there's those bridges. This must be the mill. All right. Activity giver. But we need to come up. So we're going to follow this up to the river, cross the river. We need to get through the trees here. OK. All right, doggy, let's go. Let's see what is what are our neighbors doing? A tanner. Greetings. What do you need? What kind of governor is Sir Hanush? Sir Hanush is a good lord. Things won't be the same when that wastrel Sir Hans takes over. That will be a sorry day. What's life like in Ratai? We got sturdy walls and two castles to protect us. There's not many towns have that. And we got everything we need here. We got an apothecary, a swordsmith, an armorer. We got a beautiful church and fine alehouses. Apothecary. Never heard it pronounced that way before. How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? Well, they have it tough, no doubt. But there's not enough room for them here. How much longer will they be living on our streets? Nothing good will come of this. What if one of them's brought the plague with him? Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? I don't know if it's just old wild tales, but I heard truly terrible things. And you're not going to tell us what those are? Goodbye. So again, we only have 12, so we cannot afford anything, but I'd like to try and sell some things. And I'm sure she's not going to give us the best money, but we need to sell. Should we 
just sell all this to all these. Again, this is not much, but oops. I'd like to discuss the price. Hmm. All right, so. I know it's not going to go, but I'll give it a try. Uh, since it's you. Close. Drop the price a bit more and we'll shake on it. She did not get too mad. See now? I knew we'd come to an agreement. Alright, I'll take it. Alright, come on, doggy. Come on, mutt. Alright, what is that icon? Overeating. I did overeat. overeat. Too much cabbage. These are the baths. God be with you. Do you need anything? Uh, are these going to be the same questions? Looks like it. What kind of governor is Sir Hannes? He's strict, but just. Thank God for him. You don't get mixed up in nothing like that Sir Radzig, so you don't see no one attacking us. That is a different answer, though. What's life like in Ratai? Life is good here. By God's mercy, the war's passed us by so far. There's nothing but them refugees to disturb the peace. How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? <laughs> Don't even talk to me about it. I wish that rabble was gone. I know they've met with misfortune, but here they do nothing but thieve and make problems. Take care. What can we trade from her? What can we buy? Oh, she's a. That's right. She's a poor person. Is that that? Alright, so is this where we cross? It looks like we can. Man, it's so hard to line up. And we need to get through these trees. Greetings. What do you need? Yeah, it's all the same stuff. Goodbye. There's somebody else? Yeah, how about this guy? God be with you. Stay yeah. care now. Alright, how do we get back? Uh, here's a path. Oh, path just leads here. 
but there's another path. This is right. Um, so we're trying to get up here, get to the Dead Man's Ring from Miller Peshek. And we came here. We talked to the people here. We went here, but then... Is that a road right there that I'm looking at or no? We went this way. So maybe we need to go off to the right. A little bit although this is not at that house or whatever this is came from out of nowhere. We discovered Gallows Hill. Yeah, this would be the executioners. this where it's telling us yeah I believe this is it that looks like that could be a gallo so is it somewhere around here how'd that dog get up there something. What's this? Oh, this is it. Nothing on the left hand. The right? Oh shit, there's nothing there either. Where the fuck is that ring? <coughs> oh, a stench makes me want to puke. Peshek will pay for this. There's no ring? 
Mutt, come on. Get out of the way. I have to go back to Peshek. <laughs> 